just as a sophomore and to be named a captain, what does it mean to you? You know, it means awesome. You know, I, you know, it's 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 honestly an honor. I I love this program and I really wanted to be back to the top and it's honestly an honor being named captain. You know, me and Van Bell are gonna, you know, we really have talked together already and we want it back to this, you know, the, you know, to the best. Uh, how do you handle that? You know, I didn't even know. He, he announced it at the banquet, and I was just in shock, you know. And it's um, adrenaline r rushing through my head like, damn, that's awesome, you know. Because, like, obviously our teammates are the ones that um, vote for it. So, I mean, our teammates look at me as, you know, our, our captain. So I got to step up, and we got we to gotta do better this year. What do you think you did to, to earn that? What traits do you feel you showed? Obviously, we see what you do on the field, but um, just, you know, in the clubhouse and with the team. No, in the clubhouse, I mean, I, I don't – I don't really, I do get on people if they're doing, like, if they're slacking off and, you know, I'm, I, I consider myself a hard worker. I'll, I'll do, you know, I'll hit after practice uh, often if I'm like, you know, I want to work on something or even defense, like I, I need to work on my defense. I'll, I'll catch a couple off the machine. It's just like, like uh, set an example, like through action and, and making sure that, you know, some people actually come with me to hit, like they see me hitting or like, oh, let's. I'm gonna go hit with him too, so it's it's just setting by example, pretty much. It doesn't come natural to you to, to, to speak up, but you're kind of a quiet guy, you know, you're kind of a low key guy. Yeah. So is it gonna be different? Like when you yeah, I mean, it, it is gonna be different. I'm gonna have to, you know, say, you know, set people straight sometimes. But I mean, our chemistry is so good in this team that I I really don't have to do anything, pretty much. I have to. You know, just oversee everything and make sure everything's doing good, and it has been. So that's awesome. Now the, the goal here is always to go to Omaha, mm -hmm. but with all the hype, you know, you guys are now ranked really high. You know, it's a little different than years past here. How do you not let that get to people's heads? Just like last year, do the same thing, play each role. Um, you know, our lineup is really good, so we just have to, you know, make sure that we don't try to do too much. Each player try not to do too much. You know, we can't hit a home run every single time. We need to get on base drive the runners over, all that stuff, play play small ball too. You know, last year we didn't really play much small ball. But it's it's always good to have both traits and um, you know it's, it, it, I'm just excited. What, 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 I was gonna say, what, what's so exciting about I mean, your this is only your second year, but what's so exciting about this team moving forward here this season? I mean uh, all those preseason rankings like it's exciting, you know, it, like I'm ready to get the season rolling and I mean not, I mean, those those rankings mean something because they really see that it can, like, you know, we could be a good team, but at, nah, we have to play, you know, Friday night. We have to win that game. We have to keep winning games to be able to maintain our ranking. So, I mean, we just got to keep winning pretty much. Adrian, the rotation seems like a pretty strong one. How do you prepare to handle uh, the good pitches that are coming at the other opponents right now? Say that again? How do you prepare to handle the pitching staff that from the other teams? No, from our teams. The Hurricanes Like as a catcher? Yeah. No, no, I mean, I, I've caught them all fall. You know, I'm, I'm used to them. They're used to me uh, catching. You know, we catch a bunch of bullpens um, as well. So I think, you know, I'm ready. Um, we have that, like, bond. And if, you know, if they don't like something, they could tell me. Or if I don't like something, I could tell them. It's just, you know. We're... What's different from, from last year, in your opinion? Um, we already know what happened last year with the team and you came yeah. coming in as a freshman. This season, what are you prepared to, to work on to get much better uh, this time around? We just got to, I mean, last year, we didn't really have that much experience. Everybody was sophomore, freshman dominant, and now we're, you know, I have a year under my belt. The juniors have two years under the belt, so we have a lot of experience. And we just need to keep working hard. We we all got bigger over the off season. I'm sorry. And, um, you know, I think we're ready and we're even stronger than ever. Um, our pitchers are throwing harder. All that stuff. I think you know, I'm excited as well. Hey, Joe, what are you going to do differently now that you have to catch full time? I mean, you're going to get a lot more time behind the plate. It's mm -hmm. going to be tougher hitting wise. But what have you prepared for that? No, nah, I mean it's the same. Um, hitting is totally different than I think my defense. Honestly, I don't take my hitting to my defense and my defense to my hitting. I think they're totally different things. Um, I mean, yeah, it's going to be like tough on my legs, but. I'm always getting treatment in. I'm, I'm always like stretching and doing stuff to, to make my body recover better and uh, to be able to catch more games as, you know, as well doing bands for my arm. All that stuff is going gonna, gonna to help me you know, catch more games. Do you feel like you're more into the games behind the plate? Yeah, I really do. Yeah, I'll feel, you know, you don't get much balls, you know, maybe like once an inning, if that. So 
Uh, catching, you're there every single or every single pitch, so it's fun. Have you thought about some of those Sunday day games after Saturday night game catching? Or? To wake up in the morning and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I grew up here in Miami playing summer ball. And, you know, I woke up like at 8 in the morning to play a game. Like, it's, it's honestly, you know, just another day you have to like, I mean, I know it's going to be hot, which is fine. I grew up here as well, so I think I'm fine with the heat. And um, we just have to like, you know, make sure we come hot on Friday to, to win that game. So Adrian, coming, coming from Miami, uh, you already got the experience to represent the University of Miami last year. Mm -hmm. This year, uh, is it another level now that you got your team captain, your name is out there? Is it another level now for you? I mean, Miami? no, I mean, um, it's pretty much the same for me. I, obviously, I, I do. I mean, these guys see me as a captain now, so I have to. You know, get on people if they're doing something bad or, you know, make sure everybody's together. But I think it's the same. You know, um, I'm just here to, you know, play baseball, you know, and have fun and mess around with our guys and just just be a, a, a normal guy, a normal teammate with, for these guys. Hey, Adrian, any, last question. Any uh, current or former teammates who maybe you've, you've seen their leadership ability and you can maybe take something away from them? Say that again? So. A current or former teammate who you've seen as, you know, as, as an active leader on this team who you could take something away as this is what I can do. So, I mean, Van Bell, honestly, like this year, I've seen him step up for the pitchers and, and you know, he's always on the mound ready to, you know, throw a fastball on a strike or down the middle, no matter what situation. Like, I know the other day me and Gabe hit a back-to-back -back home run off him and he just literally got on the, on the mound like if nothing happened and just went after the guy after me. And that, that's honestly, like I said, lead by example. He's a good, good guy to look up to for the pitchers and for everybody that, you know, if something, you know, bad, I mean, they hit a, two home runs off him, something like that happens, that nothing affects him, and he's just out there and he, he gets ready to throw the next pitch no matter what happens.